हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन एक्सपात रिलेटिव एक्सपात विथ एक्सेस सो बेसिकली रिलेटिव एक्सपात इज समथिंग लाइक राइटिंग एक्सपात विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सम अदर पेरेंट एंड देर आर मल्टी मल्टीपल वेज टू राइट दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपात वन इज विद एक्सेस सो विल सी दैट इन दिस टूटोरियल विद एक्सेस मीन्स लाइक यूजिंग फॉलोइंग सिबलिंग प्रोसीडिंग सिबलिंग एनसेस्टर डिसेंडेंट एसेट्रा so suppose for an example if we have to write an expat for uh, here for forum with respect to blog or you can say with respect to docs platform etc so how we will write that that kind of expat here so here our uh, goal is to write an expat for forum with respect to blog let's say for an example so what we do first we so the concept is like whenever we have to write the expat uh for any element with respect to some other element the simple logic is find out the uh, like first write the expat for the element with respect to which you have to write the expat for the element then write then traverse to the common parent for both the elements and then from parent jump to that element okay so i have spoken a lot here the simple logic here is we have to write the x path for forum with respect to blog i'm telling the real time scenario so that like you will understand better rather than uh, different things so we have to write the x path for forum with respect to blog so first we will write the x path for blog then we will find the common parent for both and from that parent common parent we will jump to this forum this is the concept if we would have to write the expat for let's say free sign up with respect to platform then what we would have done first we would have write the expat for platform then we would have find the common parent for both the elements and then from that common parent we would have come to this element so first we will see for forum with respect to block now inspect this element first we have to write the expat for this element because with respect to this we have to write the expat for this okay then we will find out the common parent for both now so here for this element first we will write the x path for this block double forward slash a then title block so this we have written x path for blog here okay now we will have to find out the common parent so how to find the common parent it's very simple you here you move your mouse like this and you see that this ul so whenever you move your mouse in the elements tab here you will see that this will keep start highlighting so like this this not the one this not the one this is not the, this is the common parent for both the element so from this we want to come here ul so what you have to do here you just put forward slash and it will start suggesting you ancestor and whatever possible things are there so ul is the ancestor for this a tag so here you type an and you will see that it will suggest all possible ancestor ancestor you can say is like grandparents there is a parent is li and ancestor is ul so this you select this one we have selected and if you press enter you will see that it has we have got the common parent for blog and forum now we want to write the x path for forum so what we do we'll inspect this forum and here you can directly start double forward slash a and then on forum press enter this is how we have written x path for forum with respect to blog so this is simple i hope you got this i will show more examples so that you will get it better so what we have done here first we have written the x path for blog then we find out the common parent then from that common parent we have jumped to this we have written the x path for the for our element for which we wanted to write the x path okay if we would you would have asked like okay with respect to blog i wanted to write the x path for platform so what you have done what you can do here is delete this and as we have the common parent for these so what we want to write the x path for platform with respect to blog so just inspect this platform 
and here double forward slash k a and this is platform there you go so simple and so quick it is with selector sub if you would have done it in dev tools it would have taken too much time so we have written xpath for platform with respect to blog now let's see more example suppose you wanted to write an xpath for free sign up with respect to suppose blog or let's say forum so we have to write the xpath for free sign up with respect to uh, let's say login let's say login with respect to login we have to write xpath for free sign up okay so we have to write the xpath for free sign up with respect to login so what we will do simple logic first we will write the xpath for login right then we will traverse to the common parent which is common parent is ul again here and then from that we will jump to that free sign up one okay so first we will write the xpath for login so this is the xpath for login you can choose any of these uh, whatever selector you want function xpath function so login we have written now we have to traverse to the common parent so which is ul so here you just type uh, again this is ancestor so you can choose ancestor ul and from this you want to jump to uh, this free sign up we want to write the xpath for free sign up so here you inspect that element and you see double forward slash a and free sign up you want to write there you go so this is how we have written the xpath for free sign up with respect to login if you wanted to do, write xpath for something else that also we can do it so it's simple and straightforward and if um, like you want more example i can show you more example but it's like the same way you can write the xpath and if if you want like uh, to get more elements and <coughs> like uh, you want to see what are the ancestor childs childrens anything you want any time you can just like forward slash you want to know that preceding siblings are there you just start typing if anything will be possible it immediately start suggesting what are the the things which are possible here so like if parent you type it will give the parent so from here if you want to traverse back to this element li element parent of this you just type this and it will give you so hope uh, you learned this the simple concept here as i showed you guys is that you have to uh, like with respect to whichever element you have to write the xpath first write the xpath for that element find out the common parent for both the element and from that parent jump to this child element okay practice a lot about this uh, you try writing xpath by yourself let's say write xpath for this element with respect to this then with respect to this write xpath for this one like that you try keep trying on and i'm sure like you you will get it if you feel any question do write in the comment and feel free to reach out to me you can connect with me here on the slack channel as well slack slack to sub slack channel if you get any doubt any question comment in the uh, video as well you can comment on i will reply there okay and in the next tutorial we will learn about how to write the relative xpath without axis okay yeah thank you